The New York Jets have not won a Super Bowl since Joe Namath guaranteed a victory in Super Bowl 3. So today in Meta 23, I am adding a random superstar to the Jets every year until they win the Super Bowl. And a huge shout out to Up and Adam who does videos just like this one for different NFL teams. However, I'm cheating for the first player because there's a lot of talks about this happening in the real NFL. So we're adding Aaron Rodgers as the first superstar to the New York Jets. And with Aaron Rodgers as the starting quarterback, this offense gets way better. And the defense was already really good with guys like like Quinnen Williams, Carl Lawson, CJ Mosley, and Sauce Gardner. But let's go ahead and actually take a look at Aaron Rodgers' first drive as a New York Jet, and then we'll skip midway through the season to see if Aaron Rodgers could actually save this team as he misses Elijah Moore, just like Zach Wilson. Rodgers has the skill position players to get the job done. Garrett Wilson, Elijah Moore, Brees Hall is back and fully healthy here. Aaron Rodgers going deep. He's looking for Elijah Moore and it's dropped. No completion so far for Rodgers on his first drive. Third and 14, again looking for Elijah Moore. Three targets, zero catches. Not too bad for the Jets halfway through year one. They are four and three behind the Bills at four and two. New addition Aaron Rodgers isn't even doing too good. 1,500 passing yards, 11 touchdowns, and six picks. And for the first time in a long time, the New York Jets are going back to the playoffs. They finished the season 10 and seven. Aaron Rodgers did not play good though. 3,752 passing yards, 29 touchdowns, 16 picks. Brees Hall though was dominant. Welcome back from the ACL injury. 1,345 yards and four touchdowns. Now one 1,000 yard receiver with Wilson, Conklin, Corey Davis, and Elijah Moore. Their first playoff game in forever is against the Chiefs, so I don't like their chances. And Aaron Rodgers just turned back the clock a little bit. Go MVP for one game here to beat Patrick Mahomes. And Elijah Moore finally gets a catch. He loves throwing it to Elijah Moore. Third and two now. Can they continue this drive? Or are they going to go three and out on their first drive? Brees Hall, 1,300 rushing yards about. And Brees Hall picks up the first. However, they go right back to third and 10 here. From the Chiefs 36, they should be able to lock up three points here. This is field goal range. What happens here on third down? As long as Rodgers doesn't take a sack. Again, looking for Elijah Moore, but it's broken up. How about this, though? It's 10-0 Jets before Mahomes finally gets on the board. And that was 13-3 Jets. The defense is playing great. It's 16-3 Jets. Mahomes 16-10. Now Mahomes has the lead. But Aaron Rodgers makes it 19-17 late. But I think Mahomes is pretty much going to end this. He's at the 20. 40 seconds left. Was the kick good? It actually looks like the Jets have won. The Chiefs must have missed a last second field goal. They did. And the Jets won. Their first playoff win in a lot of years. Now they get the Ravens in the divisional round. We're going to simulate this one and see if they go to the AFC Championship. I am in disbelief. The Jets are somehow in the AFC Championship game against the Bills. And now that we're in the AFC Championship, we're going to watch most of this game via Super Sim. But it is 14-3 Bills. 21-3 Bills. I think the Cinderella run is pretty much going to be over. 24-6 Bills. The Jets had a great showing. You never know. It's 24-13, 31-13. Maybe a little too little too late. Yeah, the Bills offense was dominant. We'll see what happens in year two. And now I bring out the wheel of NFL teams. Whichever team we land on, we are going to take their best player. Hopefully, it's somebody good. Hopefully, Rodgers has a couple more years before he retires as well. No idea what's going to happen. We got the Ravens, so I guess if Rodgers does retire, we will take Lamar Jackson. And it looks like Aaron Rodgers did wind up retiring, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take Lamar. The Jets are 4-3 and three again midway through the season. With Lamar having a way better season than Aaron Rodgers did, 1,824 yards passing, 16 touchdowns, 4 picks. Then on the ground, we have Brees Hall still being amazing through 7 games, 600 rushing yards just about. The Jets will take 2nd in the AFC because the Chiefs and the Raiders are in the same division and they finish with the next best record. With Lamar throwing for 4,382 passes, Passing yards, 39 touchdowns, and 11 picks. Brees Hall again had a great season, almost 1,500 rushing yards. And we had two 1,000-yard receivers, one in Corey Davis and one Garrett Wilson. Sadly, the Jets' playoff run ends in year two to the Patriots upsetting them 49-26. to Back to the wheel of NFL teams we go. Which player are we going to be taking next? We're going to be able to take a player from the Los Angeles Chargers. Welcome to the New York Jets, Derwin James Jr. I am really liking how the offense is looking. Solid offensive line, really good skill position players, and Lamar's up to a 95. The defense was already really good, and now we add Derwin James to that. Eight games into the season this time around, the Jets are 5-3 and three in a really competitive division in third place. Lamar still playing really good for this team. 2,138 passing yards, 18 touchdowns, 7 picks. And you have Brees Hall just being a stud at the running back spot. Eight games, 728 yards, 7 touchdowns 
touchdowns. And the Jets are going to the playoffs again, but the division was so stacked. They went 12 and 5 and got a wild card spot. They finished third in their division because the Patriots were 13 and 4. Bills were 12 and 5. Lamar played really solid. 4,518 yards, 39 touchdowns, 13 picks. Brees Hall over 1,500 rushing yards and 14 touchdowns. And then three 1,000 yard receivers in Davis, Garrett Wilson, and Tyler Conklin in the tight end. And the Jets will go to Kansas City once again. We've seen Rodgers and the Jets go into Kansas City in the playoffs and get the upset. Can Lamar Jackson do it now? He'll give the ball to Brees Hall again. Why not? 1,500 yard rusher. Now we have a third and seven for Lamar. Let's see what he's looking to get here. He's going to pass again. Does he have a man? He does, and it's Elijah Moore. Every time we jump in with the Jets, they love to target Elijah Moore. We haven't seen Garrett Wilson with a catch, Conklin, Corey Davis, but every time we jump in, and Lamar's going to be sacked in field goal range probably too. Real quick, everyone, before we get back into the video, only about 4% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel, but let's get back into the video. So let's see what happens. Lamar gets on the board first. They're up 7-0 up against Kansas City, making 14-0. Remember, this Jets team has a better record than Kansas City, but just because they're on the road at Kansas City makes it a little bit tougher. But it's 14-14. Lamar takes the lead. Mahomes ties it up. Here comes Lamar. Can we jump in? Or are they going to get a first down? They get that first down. Now they're second and 10 from the 16. Lamar Jackson. Can he get this touchdown to go up seven against Patrick Mahomes? He's going to give the ball to Brees Hall. And Brees Hall is going to be pretty much stood up at the line. Picks up about three. Three is not going to be good enough, especially with seven minutes left. They're going to give the ball to Corey Davis, I think, on an end around. He's going to pick up three yards. It's fourth and four. Back to the super sim we go. The Jets did not kick three. Will that come back to bite them? No, it won't. They eliminate the Chiefs 28-21, and they are going to the next round. And now we have a rematch between the Jets and the Patriots. And after simulating that game, the Jets win, and they'll face the Ravens in the AFC Championship. Let's see if Lamar wants to beat his former team. Back in Baltimore here in the AFC Championship for the chance to go to our first Super Bowl in just three years with this Jets team. Find that pretty impressive, especially because we picked Rodgers in year one. He retired. Now we have a new QB. And guess who caught that pass from Lamar Jackson? Elijah Moore. Why every time we jump in with this team? It's Elijah Moore getting catches. Or Brees Hall running. What is this? The Jets have brought this ball down the field. Now in Ravens territory at the 38-yard line. Brees Hall gets the carry. And he's going to get that one to the 36. First drive of the game for the Jets. I believe they turned away the Ravens on defense to start it off. Third and four. Lamar is going to go empty. He's got good protection. Almost picked by Marlon Humphrey. You know, he did that a lot probably in practice. They are going to kick three. Let's see if the Jets can get on the board with the lead. No, they're going to fake. They're going to fake it. And a receiver was open. Wow. Wow, they faked that. What a play call. He was looking for CJ Uzama. And it was incomplete. That might come back to bite them. Three nothing Ravens. But the defense is too good. Seven three Jets. Lamar. Can you win this against your former team? 14-6 Jets. Get one more touchdown. 21-9. Shut down whoever the quarterback is for this Ravens team. 24-16. They don't get the two-point conversion. And we win it 24-22. It is Super Bowl time. Only in year three. I cannot believe it. And it's Super Bowl time. Jets, Falcons for the Lombardi. Here we go. And if this team wins in year three... With just two additions, really, with Lamar and Derwin James. We had Rodgers, but he's not on the team anymore. This just goes to show you, as Brees Hall might take this all the way. Not quite. He's going to get to the 32. But that shows you how good this roster already is. If they get an elite quarterback in the real NFL, and maybe a couple more pieces, they can go out and win a Super Bowl. And Brees Hall, what a run. Brees Hall again. Just remember, Brees Hall is coming back. Next year, that's like getting another elite weapon. Because if Brees Hall did not get injured this year, the Jets were going to the playoffs. They were a run-first team. This man was dominant. He was going to win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Just look at him go right now, down to the 10. First and goal from the 7. Lamar, he's going to pass. He's got a wide open receiver, and he's going to get down to the one yard line. Prize, they didn't go to Brees Hall. He's been on fire this game. Maybe this time Brees Hall walks in. Great blocking. Jets up 7 0. And let's see it, Jets fans. Are you guys claiming a Lombardi trophy? Falcons aren't going to make it easy. They actually take the lead, but you guys get it right back. But the Falcons get it right back. But the Jets tie it up. Oh my, this is going back and forth. Who has the ball right now? Do the Falcons have the ball? No, the Jets have the ball. Not sure why at the top it says the Falcons do. But it's first and goal for the Moore Jackson and the Ravens to take a seven-point lead in the third quarter. First and goal. Why don't was Brees Hall? Didn't give it to him. Instead, it's Elijah Moore. And finally, Elijah Moore going to get in the end zone. Back to the super sim we go. Can they stop the Falcons? They do. The Jets get another touchdown, but the Falcons answer right back. 
Oh my, this is a really good game. Here comes Lamar. They score a touchdown. Lamar Jackson, a seven-yard touchdown to Garrett Wilson with only three minutes left. It's 49-28, and the New York Jets in only three years and two additions to this team. Lamar and Derwin James have won the Super Bowl. The Jets are Super Bowl champions for the first time since Super Bowl three. If you're the Jets GM right now, I hope you're watching this video. Go trade your future for Lamar Jackson. Go get him and somehow get Derwin James and the Chargers. I don't know how you're going to do that. Just do that. But I'm not going to ruin this moment. Jets fans, you've waited a long time. Lamar's going to hoist this thing. Let's see it. And the Jets are Super Bowl champions. And Lamar went absolutely crazy. Almost a 125 passer rating with 31 completions, 398 yards, and four touchdowns. Brees Hall, he had a great season once again. He had 128 yards, three touchdowns in the Super Bowl. And you had Corey Davis and Garrett Wilson over 100 yards receiving and Elijah Moore with 86 in the Super Bowl. And Super Bowl MVP goes to Lamar Jackson. If you want to see this type of video where I did this with the Dallas Cowboys, make sure to click right here.